yeah hello all welcome back so hope you are all doing well in today's session i would like to introduce a new issue it's nothing but a different requirement from the business so i will let you know what exactly the requirement is and in the upcoming session i will give you the solution for that but now let me tell you what exactly the requirement which was raised by the business so here the requirement is nothing but the business would like to get a report would like to have a report for ordered quantity as well as confirmed quantity so here the business would like to tally what exactly the ordered quantities are and how many quantities got confirmed so here let me tell you a small example if a customer place an order for a material a for the quantity of 10 and if the stock of the material is not available and if only four goods are available then while creating the sales order only four quantity will get confirmed and the remaining six quantity will get confirmed only when the stock is available so here the business would like to know what exactly the quantity the business has to manufacture in order to meet the ordered quantity so now let me tell you what exactly the requirement is and how can we achieve it in sap in the standard sap here for this requirement we need not to use the we need not to take the help of the technical team we can do it by ourselves only so now let me give you the requirement here see here the requirement is let me take one sold to party so here the sold to party is nothing but customer and a material what exactly the ordered quantity so quantity which got ordered and deliver uh, what is this confirmed quantity now the delivered quantity it is confirmed quantity so here we can also take sales document number so now if we take for example the sold to party of 56 so this is what is the sold to party number and if we take the material of for example dollar 650 and if the customer place an order for the quantity of 10 and if the stock of the material is not available and if only four goods are available hence only four goods will get confirm so here in this case the confirmed quantity will be 4 and for which one sales document number will get generate let us take 1122 as the sales document number so now the business would like to check based on customer number or based on the material number what exactly the ordered quantities are 
in the same way what exactly the confirmed quantities are so here in this case the total ordered quantity is 10 and the confirmed quantity is 4 so here by seeing this the business will plan for the remaining six quantity either it can start manufacturing or the business can procure it from the vendor or whatever it may be it will be based on the business requirement but anyhow the business would like to have a report like this and they have raised a ticket in order to create the report so now let me tell you how can we achieve it without having the report so if we don't have any report how can we see these details the data we can fetch by using the tables b b a k in the same way b b a p and b b E P. So as you know, B B A K is the table for sales document header data, and B B A P. This is the table for sales document item data, and B B E P is the table for schedule line data. So here, if we go through S E sixteen N. And here if we pass the sold to party number or if we pass the material number or if we pass sorry if we pass the sold to party number then we can get the sales document number. So we have to take all these sales documents and we have to pass those sales documents to BBAP table. So from that we can get the material, we can get the material number as well as ordered quantity. So here what we have to do is we have to pass these details to VB EP table to know the confirmed quantity of that material. So here we have to go through all these tables. But here the business would like to have all these details in a single report without going to VBAK first then to take the data from there and to pass it to VBAP and from there we have to take some data and to pass it to VBAP. So here the business don't want to do all these things. The business would like to have a report for this. See the report should be like this. So here the report name is confirmed quantities and here we can see the sold to party number and here sales document number is there and here we can find the material and here we can see the ordered quantity is 25 and the confirmed quantity is 10. So here it is based on sold to party. Sometimes the business also requires the report irrespective of the sold to party but which is material specific which literally means that the business will pass material number then they will get what exactly the ordered quantity for that material and what exactly the confirmed quantity of that material and how much quantity of the material has to be manufactured that's what the business will come to know by seeing this report so anyhow, so this is what is the requirement. The requirement is clear that we have to create a new report without taking the help of the technical team. So I hope you are all clear with the requirement. And if you have any queries, you can post them in the comment session or else in the dedicated WhatsApp group, which I have created for this. Or else you can post your query in the Telegram group, which I have created for the same. And I hope you are all clear with it. And if you are really learning something with our videos, you please like, 
and share the content with your friends and you please subscribe the channel to get more interesting videos on SAP SD. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.